So today I am at the Salvation Army thrift store and I'm going to go in and see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. I do have a lot of stock, so I'm gonna be really picky today and only buy the best of the best. I'm gonna start off in the phase section. I'm not seeing too much. A little piece of pottery here. It is signed. I think that's 2014. Frosted vase, $1.99. It's pretty. Definitely vintage, but there's only one of them. I think it'd be better to have a pair of those. What are these? International Silver Company. $1.99 each. There's a bit of wax residue in the bottom there, but I'm sure I could get that out. They're pretty. They've got purple glass. Dried florals. They've got a nice weight to them. And they're made in China. So they're not that old. They do look vintage though. I might come back for those. I'm thinking they're probably worth about 15. Uh, $15 each, 12 to 15 each, I would say. I don't think that's that old. This is Ikea. Franz James. Hmm. Doesn't look like it has a lot of age to it. No, it's not that old. So a silver candlestick. Viking, so it is plated. And there's only one. Cute little owl. Yeah. Votive holders, 99 cents. Definitely more modern though. Those are modern. This is pretty. Um, 1979 USA. That's nice. I like the glaze on it. It's $1.99. It does have a tiny little chip here, but I think that's forgivable. I'll grab that. I spotted these tea light holders as well. They're $3.99 for three, but they're made in China, so I don't think they're that old. The bottoms look newer. Got a nice glaze on them. That was at Value Village a long time ago because that's a very old price sticker. <laughs> it's a little piece of Native American pottery, $1.99. It is signed. It's pretty. Here's a little. Is that a perfume bottle? Oh, it's $10, so.
I don't know if I want to pay ten dollars for that. It's a little trinket box. Dollar ninety nine is cute, but nothing too spectacular. It's pretty plain. Maybe worth about eight to ten dollars, maybe. So I think we'll leave that one. This is made in Japan. This might be good for putting necklaces and jewelry on at a flea market. Here's the price. I don't know, there's no price on it. <laughs> we'll see how much they'll give it to me for. I might take this for display purposes. Some chips on that. What are these guys? <laughs> Doggies? There's a Madonna and Child. $2.99. Looks and feels like a newer piece, probably 1980s or 90s. Copper canoe, four ninety nine. That's interesting. Is it copper or is it painted copper? No, I think it's painted. Or maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. Is it painted brass? I'm not sure. I think I'll leave that. Owl hand painted. So chalkware owl. I've had these before. It's only two ninety nine for this one. I think I'll pass on this. I know there would have been another one with it, a set of two. So I think I'll leave that one. Keeper. That is made in China. Don't think it's that old. Some sugar bowls. Corel. Made in China. There's a milk glass. Container. That's an old one. Lots of wear on the gold, though. Here is some Glow Hill. Whoops. Glow Hill. I'm not sure if that goes with it or not. It doesn't say Glow Hill on it. Canisters made in China. Some little egg cups. I'm not sure who makes that. It's a creamer and sugar bowl. 
for $7.99. It's nice pottery, but I have so many creamer and sugar bowl sets that I'm not going to pick up anymore for a while unless they're amazing. Teapot. Made in Korea. Made in China. What's this? It's got a unique shape to it. It's not marked though. Definitely newer. I like this little orange teapot. Old Amsterdam. Where is that made? Hmm. Doesn't say where it's made. It's really cute. I like the color. It's pretty tiny though. $2.99. Some bakeware. I know some of these molds can do really well. Get the name of the particular mold that sells really well. I know what it. I'll know what it is when I see it. Definitely not any of these. Now in the dinnerware. See if anything jumps out at me here. These are nice bowls. Made in England. Ironstone. English ironstone. Those are nice, but there's only two of them. See if there's any amazing coffee cups here. The music is a little bit loud over here, so I'm going to have to continuously talk. That's a souvenir mug from Banff, Lake Louise. Hawaii mugs, 2014, not vintage, they do have a vintage look to them though. Let's see what's in the glassware, some pretty bird glasses, they're Libby, it's quite a bit of wear on the design though. They've been in through the dishwasher unfortunately. They're pretty. I made my way over to the artwork. There's a couple of needle points. Let's see here. $1.99 each. I don't know. They're pretty, but this part is not finished. They are professionally framed, but just they look unfinished to me. So I think even though they're only $1.99, I think I'm going to leave them. 
I mean, they may be finished, but I don't know. To me, that looks unfinished. And these are just plastic frames. So I think I'm gonna leave those ones. $6.99. Hmm. Not sure if that's watercolor, maybe? All right. I'll look over here at this art on the wall. I like the mirror, but it's $20. So I just brought out a fresh cart and I see some brass seagulls here. So I think I'm gonna grab these out of here. They're $2.99 each, but I've done well with these. So I'm going to pull them out. There's three of them here. It's a little piece of Blue Mountain Pottery Bud Vase, $1.99. What's that? That's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. to dig through. It's nicer when they have it on the yeah. the rack, hey? <laughs> we think good, guys? I don't know. We're digging. We're, We're digging. Cool. Yeah, that's a nice piece. That's a nice compact. Okay. Are you taking the brass? Nope. Okay. I'll take it then. <laughs> I am, yep. Yeah. Are you? I'm gonna give it a try, yeah. Well, it's a lot of work. It's fun, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm looking at retirement here right away, so. Oh, so well, that's a nice, nice way to make a little bit extra, right? So here on my table is everything that I got from the Salvation Army, and I didn't really stay within my own rules of $20, $25 or more. <laughs> There's a couple things here that are not worth that much, but I bought them anyways. So I'll start with these brass seagulls. And I found listings and comps. I found comps on eBay for $50 or more. I found a set that sold on Poshmark for $75. And most of the listings on Etsy are $75 or more for a set of three. So I'll probably list these for around $75 for the set of three. And I found this ceramic plant pot. It is FTDA, so it is from a flower company. I think FTDA is a flower company. 1979, made in USA. I just thought it had a really nice glaze on it. Definitely 1970s. It does have a tiny little chip on it. Super tiny chip right there. But I'll probably list this in my Etsy shop for around $22 to $24 if I don't keep it for myself. <laughs> and I found a little piece of Blue Mountain Pottery. It was $1.99. Nice condition. Not worth a whole lot. I would say probably about $15 to $18. So... Not $20 or more, but I only paid $1.99 for it. And I might just bring it to the flea market and maybe sell it for $10 or $12 there if I don't list it on Etsy. And then this compact was $1.99. It is Danielle of Canada. 
but it's made in China. So it's designed by this Danielle out of Canada, but it is actually made in China. I just thought it was a really pretty compact. I like the, the raspberry color on the top. It's just a mirror, if I can get it open. Yeah, it's just got a double mirror. So I'll probably list this in my Etsy shop for around 18 to $22. And then I grabbed this brass planter. It was $3.99. There's a lot of patina on it and a little bit of rust. So not in the best condition. I didn't really look at it closely. I just kind of threw it in my cart. <laughs> so I will use some Brasso and see if I can get it shined up nicely before I list it in my Etsy shop. If I can get it looking really nice, I will list it for probably around $22 to $24. This was $1.99 and I grabbed it because I thought maybe I would use it at a flea market to hang necklaces or bracelets or something on it. It's made in Japan, brass, gold colored metal. And yeah, I paid $1.99 for it. These were a pretty good score. They were $2.99 each. And I've picked these up before in Value Village. The color's not coming in too great because the natural sunlight's shining in. But they look like sea urchins. And when I picked these up in Value Village before, there was a set of three. And I sold those for, I'm sure it was around $60 or more for the set of three. They were in a little bit better condition. These ones have a little bit more wear. Some of the gold is coming off the points and some of the pink is wearing off. Pink paint is chipping off. But I don't think that would really be noticeable when they're hung on the wall. So I'll list this set for probably about 38 to 42 for this set. And then I found these pieces when I was checking out and they have some jewelry at the front counter. So I found this cute little retro vintage camper brooch. It was 99 cents. It kind of looks like our bowler camper, but not exactly the same. I think the door would be on the other side. But I just thought it was super cute. So I don't know if I'm just gonna hang on to this or if I'm gonna resell it. It's not worth a whole lot. Someone who's got a retro camper might enjoy it, but maybe a value of 10 to $12 for that. And then I found this costume ring. It's not real gold. It's got brown tortoise shell. It's plastic. And then it's got a cameo on it. And I just bought it for myself. I'll sometimes wear costume jewelry rings so I just thought it was really pretty and I think I paid I think I paid $3.99 for it something like that so that was everything that I got from Salvation Army really my best finds were the seagulls and the sea urchins I don't know if that's what they actually are but <laughs> they have that Curtis Jerry kind of look to them they look like sea urchins. So those are my best finds, and I will make some profit from those two items. And my total was $26 for everything. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.